Are you an actor or an actress? Then you are not going to heaven. This is why. This is Kujo Nkansa, aka Lewin, a very popular actor in Ghana. Kujo Nkansa is well known for his ability to make you laugh out loud with his superb acting skills. He can fit in every role that you give him, but the best role that people love him for is playing an old man. In fact, when you watch this young man act, you would easily be confused whether he is an old man or a young person. But this is Kujo Nkansa in real life. A young person in his early 30s, but in movies, Kojo and Kansa put on an act and he appears as an old person. Sometimes he appears as a cripple, as a madman, as a rich man, or as a young person. He has even appeared in a movie as a student before. But in real life, Kojo and Kansa is just a young person who loves to sing and dance. Now, this is Nanama McBrown, a very beautiful, talented young actress in Ghana. Nanama McBrown just like Kujo and Kansa can play almost every role perfectly and make you laugh out loud. Now in this scene, she plays the role of the only literate in her village who helps desperate women to find husbands. This is funny, isn't it? But below friends, in real life, this is not how Nanama McBrown looks like or behaves. She is a beautiful woman married to a very handsome man. But in movies, just like Kujo and Kansa, she also put on an act. You see, friends, all the things that Kodio and Kansa, aka Lewin, and Anama McBrown do, and the roles that they play in movies are all fake. What you see them in movies are not their real personalities. They just put on an act. So actors and actress are people who pretend to be something that in real life are not. But below, friends, in the Bible, there is another name for people who also pretend to be Christians but are not. They are called hypocrites. Hypocrisy is claiming to have moral standards or belief to which one's own behavior does not conform. The word hypocrite is actually rooted in the Greek word hypocrites, which means stage actor, pretender, or dissembler. And so basically, when we say somebody is an actor or an actress, that person, according to the Greek meaning of the word hypocrite, is also a hypocrite because you put on a show and try to make people to believe that you are like this or that, which in real life you are not. And so anybody who pretends to be a Christian but in real life does not live according to the principles of the Bible is an actor or an actress or the Bible will call you a hypocrite. And below friend, when it comes to hypocrisy, the Bible speaks volumes on this subject. In fact, much of Matthew chapter 23 is centered on hypocrisy. In Matthew chapter 23, verse 2 to 5, and then verses 25 and 27, the Bible says, Then Jesus said to the crowd and his disciples, The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, so you must be careful to do everything they tell you, but do not do what they do. For they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything they do is done for people to see. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees. You hypocrites, you clean the outside of the cup and dish. But inside, they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like quite washed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. You see friends, many people who claim to be Christians today don't have personal relationship with Jesus Christ. They are Christians only in name. They put on the act as Christians only on weekends when they go to church. They dress, they talk, and behave generally as Christians 
when they are going to church, they put on the act as Christians only on weekends. When they are going to church, they dress as Christians. In church, they talk like Christians. They sing worship songs as Christians. They pray and cry unto God as Christians. But in real life, they are not Christians. During the weekdays, they put aside their Christian acting robes and go back to their normal lives of stealing, sleeping with men and women that they are not married to, insulting, dressing like prostitutes, fighting each other for positions at work, no praying, no Bible studies, no compassion to the poor, no humility, nothing about the Christian life is seen in them at all. They are only actors and actresses. Jesus Christ spoke about such people in Matthew chapter 15 verse 8. He says, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Such actors or hypocrites are quick to pass judgment on those who are struggling to live genuine holy lives in the Lord. They will say, Oh, you don't do this or that. Some would even condemn you when you enter the church seeking to follow God. They see themselves as righteous people, but they are not. Jesus condemns this attitude in the parable about the Pharisee and the tax collector in Luke chapter 18 verses 10 to 14. He says, Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like the other, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Below friend, Jesus Christ concluded this parable by saying, I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humble, and all those who humble themselves will be exalted. You see, beloved friend, the Pharisee was making a public show of his religiosity. You see, friend, a Christian is called to grow in faith and progress to being more like Christ. We are called to put on a new nature and allow the Holy Spirit to transform our lives. A Christian is called to live a life of compassion, a life of kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So anybody who put on an act and behave like a Christian, but in fact does not practice all these things, is a hypocrite. You are an actor. You only put on an act. You behave as if you were a child of God, only to be seen by other people. But in real life, you are not. Your heart is far from God. Beloved, it is time to quit acting because no actor or actress in the Christian life will make it to heaven. Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 3, reading from verses 15 to 17, says this, I know your deeds. You are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich, I have acquired wealth, and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. My dear friend watching me, it is not too late. Come to Jesus and he will forgive you and wash away all your sins of Christian hypocrisy and make you his own. It is time to quit acting because no actor will make it to heaven. Be a genuine Christian. Practice what you preach. Do not pretend. Live a genuine life. And this is what will make God smile on you in heaven. Remember, Jesus is coming again soon. Only those who live their lives according to Jesus here in this world will make it to heaven. No actor, no actress will be in heaven. Never be an actor. Be a genuine Christian. God bless you. Shalom.